The latest update to the Google Camera App version 8.5 includes new details about the photography and videography features of the Pixel 7 and even next year's Pixel tablet. And we've also uncovered some more details about the potential for face unlock on Pixel hardware from the 6 Pro onwards. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So with Google Camera 8.5 rolling out recently, the code for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro is only just starting to appear. And this is just the beginning of being added to the Google Camera application as the devices and the software itself progresses. And there aren't too many major differences to be found here. This is unsurprising given the Pixel 7 series looks to be what is a refresh of last year's phones and therefore shouldn't change too much in the camera department. That said, one detail that we've been able to find is that both the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro should finally be able to use the front facing camera sensor to record videos in 4K UHD resolution. That's actually in contrast to the Pixel 6 series and previous, where only the Pixel 6 Pro could shoot 4K video from the selfie camera. The $599 Pixel 6 was actually limited to Full HD Plus recording, as it is using an entirely different selfie camera with a lesser resolution. That would be 8 megapixels versus 11.1 megapixels on the Pixel 6 Pro. As the Pixel 7 should support 4K selfie recording, it's possible that the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro may share the same front facing selfie camera sensor as on the Pixel 6 Pro, but that's actually a little bit unclear at this point which sensor is being used. This is actually suggested by code within the Google camera that tags the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro with P21 front setup, which was previously reserved for the Pixel 6 Pro. So while that's not a huge tidbit, we have a little bit more information as well about Pixel Face Unlock, which looks to be still in the works, or this is not actually related to the Google Camera application. You may actually remember that just before, or at least just before launch of the Pixel 6 series, there were quite a few signs that Google was planning or at least working on Face Unlock functionality. It obviously hasn't launched, although we have seen some more tidbits in the recent beta releases of Android 13, but we have heard a little more from a source close to the situation. And although it wouldn't be fair for us not to share this, we're going to give you a little bit more information. Back in April, we reported that the Pixel 6 Pro was supposed to launch with face unlock compatibility. Sources familiar with the matter told us here at 95 Google that the cap capability was actually pulled relatively close to launch. And we also learned that the feature was only ever really meant for the more premium model, not the $599 Pixel 6. Since our April report, Face Unlock did not launch on Android 12's final June feature drop. That said, the, uh, our Insight team has now spotted an underlying change, which is Face Unlock Boost within the code specific to the Pixel 6 series, where the CPU performance levels would actually be boosted for a short second or a short period when Face Unlock is active to presumably help aid processing of your face data. It was merged for and should be live with the June security patch. Meanwhile, from the latest we've heard, Google is still working on face unlock for future Pixel phones. Accuracy and battery concerns are actually reasons why it hasn't launched on the Pixel 6 Pro, at least at this stage. And attention now turns to the upcoming Pixel 7 series, which presumably is when Google would want to launch a major feature that encapsulates its expertise in cameras and machine learning. That said, we previously learned that after last year's launch, the company considered adding it to the Pixel 6 Pro with a feature drop. This actually raises the question of whether Google would add face unlock to the Pixel 6 Pro after launching the Pixel 7 series. The newer phones could feature hardware that lets the capability run a lot more efficiently, but the 6 Pro does seem to have all the necessary components in place. It's certainly something existing owners would want. And if you are interested, let us know what you think of this constantly evolving face unlock situation in the comments below. It's actually really a really interesting scenario, given that it feels like we're actively being teased with the potential of it returning at least some point on Google smartphones. Looking even further ahead, Google is set to release an Android powered Pixel tablet sometime in 2023. And while details about this device are still quite limited, at least at this point in time, one thing that was shown is that the Pixel tablet should feature only a single rear camera. And that harkens back to the design of the Pixel 3 and even the Pixel Slate. This single camera design does make sense for a tablet that 
kind of seems to be intended for at home usage and it is coming complete with smart home features. So that does make a little bit more sense on top of that. The Google Camera 8.5 update includes some early preparations though for the Pixel tablet, laying out some of its intended features. Given how far though we are from that device's release, we should take these findings with a little grain of salt, as things can change significantly between now and that proposed launch period. So far though, the most notable differences between the Pixel tablet and the Pixel 6 series are all related to feature removals. The most blatant of these removals is the apparent lack of 4K video recording at 60 frames per second. But beyond that, there are signs that the Pixel tablet may not support 4K video recordings at all. Beyond that, quite a few photo and video features from recent Pixel phones may be missing in the Google camera on the Pixel tablet, including things such as audio zoom, slow motion videos, and even action pan photos. Given that a tablet isn't exactly the handiest device for use when taking photos and videos, this isn't terribly surprising that Google would cut back on these features, at least to help keep costs down, but it is disappointing to hear all the same. Overall though, that's an update on all things cameras for the upcoming Pixel 7, potentially the Pixel 6 Pro with biometric unlock methods and the Pixel tablet. Of course, it's not the most extensive information that we found thus far, but let us know what you think down in the comments sections below. Google has thrown a few curveballs in the past, but it is interesting to see just how, or at least how all of this will play out. Hopefully though, you enjoyed this short video diving into the camera features of the upcoming hardware. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.